Hey guys, Mike here at Amazing Tutorials. Welcome back. Well guys, today I'm going to address a fairly important question. A question that I get quite a lot. What's the deal with bump maps and displacement maps? What are the differences? How do you create them? How do you apply them? And so forth. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Now I'm going to start off by simply creating two identical cubes. So I'm just going to drag out a cube, pull that up, hit Control D to duplicate it, hit W to move it, and move it over. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to apply a bump map to the cube on the left, and we're going to apply a displacement map to the cube on the right. Okay, but before we get into that, so what is a uh, bump map and what's a displacement map? Now, if you normally texture an object with a 2D texture file, for example, this cube, and I'm going to apply a brick texture to it, even though this texture is on there, it still looks completely flat, right? It doesn't look like bricks coming out of a wall. It looks like a picture of bricks on a flat cube, okay? So with a bump map, what you do is you simulate depth, right? And that is done based on uh, color in the texture file, uh, where black is as close to the original surface as you can be. So let's call that zero. And gray is a little bit further out, and white is the highest point, so to speak. But again, a bump map simulates that. Okay, A displacement map actually displaces material. So we're going to do both, and I'm going to do it in a somewhat different way that I've seen on YouTube, where especially for beginners, it's kind of complicated with hypershade nodes and connections and shader groups and all that stuff. I'm going to try to do it in a very simple way. Okay. So first, before we apply the bump and the displacement, we're first just going to simply add a 2D texture file to both. Okay. So we're going to start with this guy. Right click, assign new material. I'm going to go with the Lambert. In my attribute editor, hit a, a Control A to pull that up. I'm going to hit my checkered box next to my color. I'm going to select File. And in my folder, I'm going to pick up the texture that I want to use, which is brick wall. Okay. Now we can't see it, but if you hit the checkered box up here or the ball, and there we go. Okay. And like I said, if you take a close look, it's a picture of a wall on a completely flat surface. Okay. That's number one. Then we're going to go to number two. Right click, assign new material, Lambert. Checkered box, file, folder, and the brick wall. So exactly the same steps. Okay. So far, nothing different between the two. Now, what we're going to do is on this guy on the left, this guy, we are going to apply a bump map. All right. So with this selected, I'm going to go to the material that I created, which is a Lambert 2. And here you can see it. Down here, you have the option to select bump map. So I'm going to hit this checkered box. I'm going to select file. And then I got this little file note up here. But before we do that, I'm going to tweak my bump value. Now, the bump value is how far should the material go outwards, if you will, right? And if you don't adjust that, you can get some really weird effects. So we'll do a bump depth of let's say not one, but 0 0.4. Okay, cool. And we're going to go to our file tab. We're going to select the folder and we're going to go to brick wall once again. Now, normally what you would do here is you would take this texture file, go into Photoshop, you would um, turn it into a black and white picture or black gray and white picture and then you would apply it in this case I'm just using my original file but to get a better and cleaner effect it's better to uh, convert it okay but already with this bump um, applied you can see a difference between the two and actually a pretty clear difference okay and I'll just uh, put a light in here create lights and point light pull that up, hit 7 on my keyboard. Okay, you can clearly see that this has a lot more structure than this guy, right? 
this one being completely flat and shiny this one has more structure okay i'll actually just uh hit Control d and i'll duplicate these lights a few times so it will just give us a slightly better view okay i'm just going to take all these lights move them back a little and maybe move them up a little okay so that's our butt map now we're going to go to cube number two this guy okay again we're going to go to our material tab which is lambert that we created for this right but there's no displacement type selection down here so what we're going to do is next to the material you got these two little black things going on and we're going to select the one on the bottom okay and when we do we get the option to select a displacement material so we're going to hit this checkered box we're going to select file and again we have the uh, opportunity to uh, tweak the settings okay now uh, let's see this is the guy I'm going for, if I'm correct. We're going to change that to 0 0.4. We're going to go to our file, hit the folder, select the same material, and hit open. OK. Cool. Nothing happened, right? Well, wrong. It did, but you can't see it here. You can see it in your render. OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our render settings. And I'm going to do this in Mendel Ray, but you can do that in Maya if you want. Just going to do a quick a couple of settings. I'm going to set up global illumination, uh, bump up my quality to about 1.5, and I'll increase my image size to HD 1080. And all of that has not really anything to do with this. Okay. Okay. So we've got these two here, right? Uh, I'll quickly create a ground plane underneath the two we're gonna zoom in set up my resolution gate here so I got them both in my shot and we're gonna hit render and I'll see you guys when it's done see you in well guys there you go so here on the left you can see the result of our bump map and on the left uh, sorry on the left the bump map and on the right the displacement map now, on the right, you can see that this looks much more realistic. And if you tweak the bump, uh, the displacement depth, you can even uh, tweak it a bit more. OK, so hopefully this is um, an easier method to work with the displacement maps. And hopefully the, you now have a better understanding of the difference between the two. OK, that said, thank you guys for watching and I'd love to see you guys again. Bye.